The Colonel baseball team started off the week with a thriller against Tulane. In the 6-5 victory last Tuesday at Didier Field, the Greenway's Andrew Garner delivered a three-run homer in the sixth that gave them the lead, but the Colonels responded with a pair of runs in the eighth to seal the deal. The following night, Nichols lost a competitive contest at Louisiana Lafayette. The game was tied at one before the Cajuns scored four runs in the eighth to claim the 5-1 to one win. Tulane game, very nice atmosphere, a well-pitched game by Zach Theak. Um, our guys played extremely hard. We didn't play our best game, but we played well enough to win the game, and I, I feel like we played, we ran the bases really well. Um, we did some really good things. I just felt like um, put ourselves in a good situation towards the end of the game, even though they, uh, we gave up that home run, that three-run home run. It pretty much went ahead. We never lost focus. And against UL, I felt like we let that one go. Uh, I felt like we had opportunities to take advantage of runners in scoring position and we didn't get it done. After splitting a pair of games in Baton Rouge against Brown on Saturday and Sunday, Nichols would end the in-state rival competition against fourth-ranked LSU on Sunday afternoon. The game was scoreless until the sixth when the Tigers scored two runs. The Colonels fell 2-0 but look forward to meeting LSU again this coming Wednesday in a game they believe they will win. Very highly um you know, intense game against LSU and, you know, pitch here or there, uh, a well-played ball in the outfield a couple of times, got a couple of runs from us and may have prevented us from winning that game. I feel like uh, that was a difference in the game. Some, some really good pitches by our guys or our guy, Taylor Bird, who threw a fantastic game, uh, bled in there just over our infielders and, and some balls that we squared up, went right to some guys or a very good athlete in center field, you know, took them away from us. So. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference between us and, 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 and the top five team in the country. And uh, we certainly are not scared of them, and we're, we're really looking forward to playing them again because we feel like we have just good or better athletes, and, and uh, we're, we're definitely ready for that next challenge. For NTW News, I'm Ashley Dufresne.